Hello everybody, welcome to a bit of a more chill vlog. Um, it's not really a vlog per se, but it's more of a review, specifically on, on Impractical Jokers, the movie. This movie, look at, I'm gonna say it up front, I'm gonna say it without any, I'm gonna say it with all the backlash that will come with it. Impractical Jokers, the movie, was underwhelming, to say the least. Like, I, I mean, I feel like Impractical Jokers as a concept worked better as a show than a movie. You know what I mean? The show was really good. I, like, from what, look, if I had to rate the show from 1 to 10, I'll do the movie afterward. If I had to rate the show from 1 to 10, I would probably rate it, like, a 9, an 8. It's not like crazy like that. But the movie, mm, I would rate it, like, a, a 6.5 or a 7, maybe, at most, if I'm being generous. If I had good lunch this morning, maybe I'd give it a 7. But I didn't have good lunch this morning, therefore it gets 6.5. From me, 6.5, official rating in Practical Jokers, the movie. And the reason it's a little bit underwhelming is because I thought it would be a little more similar. Or I thought it would be more crazier, you know, considering it's the Impractical Jokers. I thought it would be a little bit more crazier. A lot. I mean, there were some pretty crazy scenes, like um, when Sal was locked in the room with the tiger. I mean, we all know he hates cats, so that was kind of crazy and funny. And also, at the very end, when Murr was attached to the plane, and he was just true, going crazy. That part was pretty crazy. I mean, I'm not 100% convinced that was real. It might have been CGI. I don't really know, but if it was real, that's pretty crazy. Right? But if it wasn't real, then that's kind of lame. Because he didn't look that scared on it. I mean, he did look a little scared, but it kind of looked fake. I don't really know what to believe anymore at this point. And I also feel like at the movie theater, I, I, um, I, ha I, I saw it in the Far Cinemark. In Far, which... Far uh, the, in the Rio Grande Valley. I live in the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. So um, I had to go to Far because I because the city that I'm in, West Laco, we don't even have a we. Well, I mean we have a Cinemark, but it didn't show him how to Joker, so we had to go all the way over there. So that was already a little bit weird. That was already a little bit like setting me off a little bit. And then like I, I the, like the thing is I just I, this movie would have been a lot better if. I didn't have any high expectations if I just w went in without ever knowing what the Impractical Jokers were. But of course, I am. Uh, I uh, I'm not a, a super loyal fan, but I the episodes that I do watch they're pretty funny. So I just had really high expectations for the movie. If uh, sorry, if I didn't have I didn't if I didn't if I didn't know have any prior knowledge of the Impractical Jokers, I probably would have rated it even higher. But I mean. I just the thing is, knowing them, I thought, I thought they it would, they would be a little bit more crazy with the pranks, and they took a pretty interesting report, approach with the movie. Also, I probably should have said this at the beginning, but huge spoiler alerts and whatnot. <laughs> so if you're allergic to spoilers, you should have left like a couple minutes ago. Anyways, the, uh, I the, the they took an interesting approach with the movie where they did about half of the movie as scripted between the f four impractical jokers and also the the lady i forgot her name but the lady that they have to go get the tickets from and the other half was a, was a few reactions and stuff sorry was a few reactions from real people and i th i found the real reactions a lot more funnier than the scripted parts cuz i feel like when it's a real reaction it's more real and the scripted parts just kind of felt, like, forced, almost, in a way. Because the Impeccable Jokers is all based on... Well, the show, at least. It's all based on reactions from um, regular pedestrians just walking along the street. And then they come along doing these stupid things. And that's kind of the joke, you know what I mean? The point of the show. But I feel like kind of scripting a little bit of the movie was an interesting approach. And, I mean, in some parts it kind of worked out. And I guess that's kind of what kept the plot moving in the movie. I didn't really expect it to be a plot either. either. I thought it was just going to be a huge long episode. Uh, but I, I I thought the plot was alright. From 1 to 10, I'll rate the plot like a 7. Maybe. And, the, I mean, of course the characters. If I, The characters is just the four impractical jokers. And then the lady, so. I can't really judge that. And this, the movie, it takes place in Florida. And I think it begins in Miami, and it, they go, like, up north Florida, or up, uh, on, on your screen, it goes up north, or up north, I don't really, can't, I can't tell. I can't tell if the camera's gonna be flipped when I upload this, or whatever. It's just that they take a kind of an interesting approach, which I don't think really worked, but I guess I applaud them for their attempt to try. And also, watching the movie in the cinema and far, it, uh, that I feel like getting the popcorn and the snacks and all that stuff 
was a lot more fun or made the experience a lot better. So they had that. I guess that. I guess I. I guess that did make me in a better mood. So maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I would have rated it even lower if I didn't have the popcorn and the snacks and the. I forgot what I had, but I remember I had a drink, and I feel like um. Uh, like, I, like I've said in the past, I think the show is a little bit more superior to the movie. And I feel like I would get a better laugh out of the show if I just watched any average episode than I did out of the, almost the entire movie at a, as a whole. There were some really good parts. Uh, I thought it was funny, the whole plot thing about how they don't know what Murr does at night. And then when they visit him up, at, when they check up on him at night, he's like at some party with all these old people. I thought that was a pretty funny uh, gag, but other than that, there weren't really great parts. Like I said, Murr... Flying on the plane at the end, and Sal being locked in the room, in the apartment, with the tiger. That was pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know if they thought, really thought that one through. I mean, it did have a, it did have like a, what's it called? A, a chain attached to its neck, I guess. Uh, so I guess it, like, I guess it, even if it wanted to, it couldn't attack Sal. But, I mean, that's a tiger. It could probably break out of that chain if it put enough effort. Other than that, that's today's... Movie review. That, but it's, it's it's a new thing. If I ever watch any new movies, I might I, did, I might do a movie review on them. There's a new show, brand new show. I love this show. It's the best show. So that was my review of the Impractical Jokers, the movie, the review. Or that was. Or th this is the end of Impractical Jokers, the movie, the review.